Chara, a clinical nurse specialist representing the Academy of Medical Surgical Nurses. My colleague on this presentation is Beth Lyman, a nutrition support nurse consultant representing the American Society for Parenteral and Enteral Nutrition. Enteral nutrition, or tube feeding, is a vital component of nutrition therapy and allows for delivery of nutrients in those who can't maintain adequate nutrition by oral intake alone. We know that nurses can sometimes be uncomfortable or frustrated with administering tube feeding. And due to the many circumstances, patients may only get about 60% of the ordered enteral nutrition. We don't want you to be uncomfortable or frustrated. We want to assure you that you got this. With review and implementation of enteral nutrition protocols, you can help improve outcomes for adult patients, prevent complications, and prevent or treat malnutrition. Nurses are critical in dealing with malnutrition. It's not a new issue, and we know we need to hardwire nutrition care into nursing practices. Malnutrition interferes with optimizing patient care outcomes, as we discussed earlier. Patients trust nurses to provide exceptional care that reduces complications and costs, as nurses care deeply about the quality of care. Finally, we know that prompt intervention is key to managing malnutrition, and you, as nurses, can make a significant difference in patient outcomes. Nurses face challenges when delivering enteral nutrition. Those include delays in ordering, confirmation of tube placement, lack of enteral pump availability. There are also GI issues such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, and other issues such as aspiration risk, tube clotting, and multiple times the tube feedings are put on hold. Thanks, Beth. Hi, this is Beth Lyman. In general, solutions to these challenges include knowledge and communication. Be prepared by being familiar with your institution or agency nursing protocols. Access them through your institutional intranet or procedure manual. Discuss challenges in care delivery with your nurse manager, nurse educator, or clinical nurse specialist. Know your procedures and care protocols so that optimal enteral nutrition can be delivered to prevent or treat malnutrition and improve patient outcomes. Some more specific solutions include, for enteral nutrition orders, standardize details about the tube type, method of administration, formula, rate, or volume. Verify tube tip location using a standardized evidence-based method. Do not use auscultation alone. Avoid interruption of enteral nutrition to promote nutrition and reduce microbial growth. Incorporate volume-based feeding protocols. Incorporate nutrition into daily rounds and interdisciplinary huddles. You can do this. Thank you for your attention. Here are some helpful references for you to look at. This program was supported by Abbott.